This week, we're talking new service dress blues and whites, senior chief quotas, and wrapping up Sexual Assault Awareness Month. So here's a prototype for the new dress white top. For those that haven't seen it, the obvious change is the blue piping that makes it look a lot more like the dress blue version. The less obvious change is the zipper on the side that matches the update to the service dress blue that will make it easier to get it on and off. Now the blues are scheduled to be available in early 2016. Uh, they're also planned to be available at the same time that the female Cracker Jack style comes out. And you may be looking forward to some of these changes, actually pretty cool, but I know you're not looking forward to putting down the cash on a uniform, getting it resized and hemmed up, etc. To that effect, leadership expects to make the new uniform optional at first, but Trust me, I think you're going to like these changes. So, new whites in 2017 and new blues in early 2016. And if you have any uniform questions or feedback, feel free to email us or Uniform Matters directly here. Next, senior chief quotas are out. Statistically, it's the hardest rank to make. But beyond the percentages, Fleet Mass Chief April Beldo adds the quotas are stabilizing across ratings. Good news because it means the wild swings from year to year are gone. Finally, as we wind down Sexual Assault Awareness Month, Rear Admiral Snyder, the Navy's lead on Sapper, says we're seeing the fruits of greater attention and fleet effort. More sailors are coming forward, and this is no longer an issue that we focus on once a year in April, but rather something we talk about and live day to day. And last week, we asked you what fixes you'd like to see in our NKO update, and many of you echoed CMP's assessment of the training portal, and Petty Officer Lucero commented, that wouldn't it be easier if all the mandatory training GMTs were located in one place rather than being buried among hundreds of other optional courses? And that feedback has been passed along and Vice Admiral Moran acknowledged that this is something the team will go after as the NKO update moves forward. And heads up, later this week we will release the 2015 Selective Reenlistment Bonus Message. This will detail what rates and skills are eligible for a bonus this year. If you have any more questions, be sure to reach out to us here or just leave a comment. For more information, check out this edition of the Weekly Wire. But that's it for this video. For the Chief of Naval Personnel, I'm Emerson Elliott Fabrizio. Thanks for watching.